So, one gigahertz as a processor. Uh, okay, how many gigabytes of information on internal memory, Galaxy S? How much internal built-in memory does a Galaxy S have? 16 gigabytes, fantastic. And of course, you can also, if you need more space, you can increase it using the micro SD card slot. Uh, up to 32 gigabytes you can add to the phone. First That's right. batch of phones that actually come to Singapore. We've got the exclusive. You can't get this phone anywhere else. This is the first place, so we're very proud to be able to have a Singapore first and a world first. That's right, right here in Singapore, the Galaxy S available for the very first time in the world. And you can pre-order yours here today. Pre-order today, and uh, we'll also give you a gift to the value of $140 to $300. That's right. And we've created a special Galaxy uh, 3G plan, starting from a very low $39 a month. That's right, 39. Also 12 gigabytes of data, and we're also going to throw in some TV, free TV, mobile TV, uh, with Channel News Asia, as well as Bloomberg TV, and a couple of a, a Chinese channels. All thrown in for $39. Well, Samsung Galaxy S packs in a lot of new innovative and technology. So we're talking about what sort of innovative technology are we talking about? Well, firstly, we've got a 4-inch Super AMOLED screen. That's right, a 4-inch Super AMOLED screen. Uh, which is very vivid, very bright, and uh, also one of the other great things about this screen is it's super responsive, and you can actually use it out in the sunlight. It's four times less reflective compared to other uh, touchscreen phones, so you're going to really get a really great user experience out of this the new Galaxy S phone. It's the world class Super AMOLED screen. You can't get this technology anywhere else. Only these two phones have it: the Galaxy S and the Samsung Wave. No other phone has it. So if you want the very best technology in your phone, you must get one of these phones, the Samsung Galaxy S or the Samsung Wave. Which means you've got access to over 30,000 applications, uh, which makes your phone even smarter. We like to think of it as a smartphone for the smart life. It's integrated, it's immersive, and it's intelligent. For example, we've got the Social Hub. Now this is a new feature Samsung has built into these two phones, and that brings together all of your social media your Facebook, your Twitter, your MySpace, your Yahoo, your Google, all in one place. Now that makes it very, very convenient when you want to check up on all your friend updates uh, with all your people, when you want to check up on your communication history. It actually gives you a history of all communication you had with this one person, whether it be by email, MMS, SMS, a call, uh, whatever way that you've communicated with that person, gives it to you in chronological order so you can easily keep track of all your communication. And that's one of the great features, the social hub. A great feature on the Galaxy S, also on the Samsung Wave. Okay, so what are these, some of the other great features of this Galaxy S? Well, uh, let's go through some of the hardware specs. One gigahertz processor, extremely fast. Great for multitasking on the Android 2.1 operating system. Uh, it's also got a 16 gigabyte internal memory. A micro SD card slot allows you to increase the memory by up to another 32 gigabytes. So you can have a total of 48 gigabytes with the Galaxy S. Uh, it's also got a five megapixel camera uh, and the ability to record in HD. So as you can see, lots of great features there, not to mention wireless tethering. If you've got a laptop and you've ever been in a situation where you're outside of a hot Wi-Fi hotspot, you need an internet on your laptop, you couldn't get it. Well, that problem will no longer be a problem because with the Samsung Galaxy S, you can wirelessly tether. That means you can use your Samsung Galaxy S as a modem and wirelessly tether it to your laptop and get internet on your laptop wirelessly. Fantastic uh, feature right there, the Galaxy S. Also the Samsung Wave has that feature as well. Uh, one of the other new features, the DLNA technology. It's a new technology that allows electronic devices to recognize each other wirelessly. Uh, now, so if you've got a, uh, for example, an example of how you could use this is just say you've just recorded some great footage on uh, your on your phone, some HD footage. You want to play it back on the TV. You know, rock up over to your friend's place. They've got one of the latest TVs with DLNA. You can actually play back. You can stream the video from your phone onto the TV. That's right. Stream the video on from the phone onto the TV wirelessly. No cords, no wires, amazing stuff. And that's all built into the Samsung Galaxy S. 
Now, one of the many great features, and I think we, we should actually demonstrate one of the other unique features of the Galaxy S, and that's the swiping feature. And we're going to get Chris over here, he's going to have the Galaxy S in his hot little hands, and he's going to show us how quickly uh, you can actually text using this new technology. In fact, Samsung has the Guinness World Record for the fastest texting on any phone. That's right, the fastest texting. You're going to get it right here on the Galaxy S. Uh, the Guinness World Record. Now, Chrissy is just going to individual letter to uh, type in what we want to say. But no longer. With the swipe technology, you can actually just drag your finger across the keyboard. Okay, there we go. Hello, how are you? You can see that took quite a bit of time. We're going to now do it swiping it. Take it away, Chris. He's going to swipe the same message and show you how quickly that is when you swipe. Check that out. So, very quick, when you're swiping, it actually, uh, very quick, it's actually just about talking myself out. So we're going to give out some Samsung pouches.